correspondent in Yobe, Michael Oshoma, joins us to tell us more about this. Michael, as uh, uh, far back as May, the police uh, released a statement that it would clamp down on unregistered motorcycle operators in the state. Is that what is going on at this time or some other development? Michael, if you can hear me, in May, the police in Yobe said it would clamp down on uh, unregistered motorcycle and uh, operators in the state. Uh, is, is that what has taken effect now? You know, because of the insecurity challenge we are facing in this region, uh, security operatives and police have decided to ensure that they regulate movement and transport of any kind in the city. The Kekena PEP operators, they were told by security operatives to register six months ago. As we speak, some of them have, have not been able to do that. So today, the security operative and other, and, and the police clamped down on them and took some of their, 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 their tricycles to their division, various division, in order to avert um, unforeseen circumstances, because the Boko Haram insurgent have been able to use this tricycle uh, to perpetrate theft, adoption, and every other um, sundry crimes you can imagine. So they are trying to like put um, um, efforts to ensure that the security. Um, of resident is being secured in the state. And this effort obviously isn't going down well with uh, the operators of the uh, tricycles. What is the next move now that you've heard from the operators about uh, what they would do? The operators are calling on the state government to intervene and ensure that their uh, tricycles are being released so that they can follow due process to register their number plates and every other uh, procedure. They are saying if this, uh, if, the, if, if the government did not intervene, they are going to destroy any items or government structures that come across, that, that comes their way. So in order to avert all these um, threats, they are calling on the government to intervene and call security agencies to ensure that this does not reoccur. So we hope that the security agencies, the operators, and even the citizens, residents in that area, would be able to come to a compromise and ensure security and that no one is negatively affected. Many thanks, Michael, for speaking to us.